In this mini clip, we will be looking at trigonometric models as we answer this question here. The question reads, suppose that a mathematical model for the temperature in a particular city in degrees Fahrenheit is given by T of X equal to 31 times sine of 2 pi divided by 365 times x minus 98 plus 23, where x equals 0 corresponds to January 1st, while x equals 365 corresponds to December 31st. We're first asked to find the period, and we're also asked what is the maximum temperature as well as the minimum temperature. Let's begin by answering part A. What is the period? Well, we'll need to take a closer look at our trigonometric model. Our model is of the form T of X equal to a times sine of B times X minus C plus D. This is actually the general form for any trigonometric model. Now our period is equal to 2 pi divided by b. This is the general formula. Well, looking at our trigonometric model, you will notice that 2 pi divided by 365 represents our b variable. So our period is actually equal to 2 pi divided by, now instead of writing b, I'm going to write the value that's found in a trigonometric model that represents b. I'm going to put it in brackets. 2 pi over 365. Now this can actually be rewritten as 2 pi divided by, and I'm going to write this fraction, 2 pi over 365. I just find that this way is a little bit easier than looking at a fraction within a fraction. So now 2 pi divided by a fraction will equal 2 pi now we need to change this operation to multiplication and we need to take the reciprocal of this in order to solve. These are our rules of dividing fractions. So now you'll notice that our 2 pi will divide with 2 pi, which actually equals 1 and 1 times 365 is equal to 365. Now it's really important to include a concluding statement whenever we're dealing with application problems. So therefore, the period is 365, and we cannot forget about our units. In this case, our units are days. And here is the answer to part A. Now let's attempt to answer part B. Part B asks, what is the maximum temperature and what is the minimum temperature? Well,
Well, to help us solve this problem, we need to think back to a sine function. We should all know that a sine function has a maximum value of 1 and a minimum value of negative 1. I just wrote out what I just said. The sine function has a maximum of 1 and a minimum of negative 1. This will help us in answering part B. Here we have our trigonometric model. If we are finding the maximum temperature, this means that our sine function must be at its maximum value, which we just wrote out. This value is 1. So to find the maximum temperature, this is going to equal, we leave the 31. Now instead of multiplying by the sine function, we know that the sine function will take on its maximum value when we are dealing with the maximum temperature. So in fact, this sine function will simply equal 1. And lastly, we need to add 23. Thirty-one times one gives us thirty-one, plus twenty-three is equal to fifty-four. We are going to do something very similar to find the minimum temperature. Once again, we leave the thirty-one on the outside. But to find the minimum temperature, we know that our sine function is going to be at its minimum value, which is negative 1. So we can replace the sine function with its minimum value of negative 1. And once again, we need to add 23. 31 times negative 1 is equal to negative 31 plus 23. Negative 31 plus 23 is equal to negative 8. Once again, we need our concluding statements. Therefore, I'm just going to write max for maximum, temp for temperature. So the maximum temperature is 54 and don't forget our units. We were told that it was degrees Fahrenheit. 54 degrees Fahrenheit, comma, the min or minimum temperature is negative 8 degrees Fahrenheit. And here we have our final answer.